Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good evening. Okay, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. How was your weekend? ¿Qué tal su fin de? How was your weekend? Did you rest? ¿Descansaron? Did you rest? Did you work? What did you do? You ready for the class? Let's begin. I'm going to be calling the attendance. So give me a moment, please. Okay. Ah, first, I'm going to share the screen with you. Okay. Ada Verónica Muñoz de Fuentes. Ada Verónica Muñoz de Fuentes. Are you here? Alexis Giovanni Ramos Rosales. Alexis Giovanni Ramos Rosales. Alicia Pérez Gavidia. Alicia Pérez Gavidia. Blanca Esmeralda Flores Ortez. Present. Thank you. Cecilio Antonio Cortez Escobar. Present. Thank you. Consuelo Enriqueta Aquino de Salazar. Present, teacher. Thank you. Delmi Alexandra Ramos Cruz. Delmi Alexandra Ramos Cruz. Idalia Margarita García Cruz. Presente. Thank you. Isaac Albonay Tobar. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Jennifer Nuset Arevalo Flores. Jennifer Nuset Arevalo, sorry, Flores. Juan Antonio Brande Paz. Present teacher. Thank you. Catherine Andreina Perez Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Alfredo Aguilar Beltrán. Luis Alfredo Aguilar Beltrán. Bueno, aquí está, pero no me contesta. Ha dormido. Ok, Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. Do we have in the chat? Okay. Uh, Luis Josué Valle Hernández. Luis Josué Valle Hernández. Good evening, teacher. Luis Alfredo Aguilar Beltrán, present. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Maria Magdalena Mendez Mendez. Present. Thank you. Marina Amaya de Mata. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Marjorie Marilyn Martinez Grijalba. I'm here. Thank you. Miguel Antonio Rodriguez Rosales. Present. Thank you. Nelson Eduardo Alfaro Roque. Present. Thank you very much. Noé Ezequiel Rivera Medrano. Present, aquí estoy. Okay, thank you. Olivia Raquel Rodríguez Benítez. Present. Thank you very much. Oscar Alexander Domínguez Herrera. I'm here. Thank you. Oscar Mauricio Rivera Aguilar. Present teacher. Thank you. Pablo Josué Cornejo Ramírez. Pablo Josué Cornejo Ramírez. Stephanie Brendalí Vázquez Méndez. I'm here teacher. Thank you. Okay, I'm calling those who haven't replied. Ada, Ada, perdón, Ada Verónica Muñoz de Fuentes. Oh, 
Okay, Alexis Giovanni Ramos Rosales. Alicia Pérez Gavidia. Delmi Alexandra Ramos Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you. Jennifer Nuset Arevalo Flores. Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. Pablo José Cornejo Ramírez. Ok. Por acá Luis José Valle nos dice que ya está acá. Ok, thank you. All right, everybody, welcome. Uh, here's what we're going to do. This is Inglés Pre-Intermedio Módulo 1, and that's me, Iván Doñán, at your service. This is session number nine, and today is June the 5th of 2023. So what are we going to do? Well, look. Do you like rap? That's the first part, okay? So everybody, look at this. Do you like rap? So snapshot, this is some vocabulary. Music sales in the United States, okay? So la venta de música en los Estados Unidos. Music sales in the United States. So listen and number the music musical styles from one to eight. That's the first activity, okay? I'm going to play the track and I want you to listen and tell me exactly what kind of music it is, okay? That's the first activity. For example, the first one is jazz, but let's listen. One. Can you hear that? Yes. Okay, okay. That's number one. That's jazz. Two. What's that? Raise your hand if you know the answer. What kind of music is that? For me, it's pop. Okay, for you, it's pop. Okay, let's take a look. Yeah, it is pop. Very good. Thank you. Okay, Luis Alfredo, you go for the next one. Yes. Three. What's that? Uh, this is mu this music is gospel. Gospel, that is correct. Okay, very good. Thank you, Luis. Okay. For the next one. Four. Okay, Miguel Antonio. Music classical. It's classical music. Okay. Classical music. Sorry. Classical music. Yeah, it's okay. Don't worry. Cla classical music. Yeah, that's correct. Very good. Let's go for the next one. Number five. five. Okay. Por ahí alguien me levantó la mano y la bajó. ¿Por qué me baja la manita? Okay. <laughs> Okay, we're going to give a chance to Cecilio Antonio and then Oscar. Okay, so Cecilio, how about this one? Rap. Rap. Yeah, that's correct. That's rap music. Okay, good. Oscar, the next one is yours. Let's listen. Six. What's that, Oscar? It's country. Country. Yeah, that's correct. That's country music. Okay. Luis Alfredo, you go for the next one. Seven. Okay. Sorry about the, the, the audio quality. Okay, what is that? It says music rock. It's rock, rock music. music. Okay, it's rock music. Yeah, that is correct. I'm sorry? It's heavy metal. Heavy metal. Probably. <laughs> okay. All right. So for the next one, let's listen. Eight.
What's that? One. What happened? Hey, baby, what you gonna say? So what kind of music is that right there? Marina. Writing blues. It's uh, uh -huh, rhythm and blues or R&B. Correct. Okay, that's it. Rhythm and blues. Okay, good. There you go. That's the music. Okay. So, uh, well, we have this. Listen uh, in number of the musical styles from one to eight. So we have jazz right pop there is gospel classical music rap country uh rock r and b okay so you have that kind of music right there so what are we going to do right here there is word power okay so more vocabulary that we need to study Complete the word map with words from the list. And what are those words? The words are classical, game shows, horror films, jazz, news, pop, salsa, science fiction, soap operas, talk shows, thrillers, and westerns. What are you going to do? You need to classify all these words into the three different categories. The categories are Movies, TV programs, and music. Hay que clasificar estas palabras en la lista en estas tres categorías. Movies, music, and TV programs. I'm going to give you two minutes for this. Please begin. Dos minutos. Uh, Marina, do you have a question? Okay, okay, now. Two minutes. Okay, there are some questions, I believe. Marina Maya, do you have a question? La inquietud es en news. News. Sí, news. Las noticias. Um, ah, news. That's yeah. the news. Yes, mm -hmm. okay. Okay, Thanks. you're welcome. TV program, gracias. Okay. Miguel Antonio, do you have a question? Teacher, que es westerns. Westerns, cowboy movies. Oh, okay, okay, okay. 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 
Who's are the otra, Westerns? Otra consulta. Yes. Sería posible, pero esto ya es de la plataforma. Eh, ver si puede explicar el ejercicio 5.11, que por más que le he intentado dar vueltas, no hay cómo solventarlo. 5.11. Vale, vamos a ver si hacemos el espacito. Solo que ese es de la siguiente unidad. Ah, ok. Ya está. Ah, pero vamos a verlo. Sí, si me lo recuerda después, lo vemos con todo gusto. Ok. De acuerdo. Gracias. Ok, so, um, por ahí me levantaba la mano también, ¿quién? Marjorie, por ahí vi que me levantaba la mano Marjorie, ¿no? Cecilia, Antonio. Sí, teacher. Do you have a question? Eh, no question. Uh -huh. eh, quería completar las... Ah, ok. Palabras. Great. Let's begin then. En, en TV programs. Mm -hmm. TV programs we have. Este. Game shows. Game shows. Yeah, that's correct. Sorry, mosquito. New, new, mosquito. News. Ok. Uh, there's a game shows and news. What else? Sanchez. Sanchez. Fiction. Science fiction. No, that's a, that's a different category. Es una categoría diferente. Science fiction. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Talk show. Talk shows. Talk shows. Yeah, that's in TV programs. That's correct. What else? In movies. Okay, but right now just uh, TV programs. Okay, so let's see. We have game shows, news. What else? Okay, you said talk shows also. Um, Marina, how about TV programs? Can you add anything else? TV programs, soap operas. Soap operas, okay, very good. Yeah. Okay, great. Those are TV programs, okay? Uh, game shows, news. You have soap operas, you have talk shows, etc. So um, also we can add cartoons, cartoons, I'm sorry, to the list and documentaries. These are not in the list, okay, but they are also TV programs. Thank you. Maria Magdalena, what about movies? What do you have in movies? Horror films. Horror films, okay, that's one. What else? Wait, but that's Spanish. What about English? <laughs> no, hombre. Digámoslo por en inglés. Es la gracia. Okay, you say it's science. Fantasy. Science. ¿Cómo? Science fiction. ¿Cómo dice? Science fiction. Science fiction. <laughs> science fiction. Okay, yeah, it's science fiction right there. Y la otra, Wayne Stars, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Westerns. Westerns. Yeah. Okay, very good. There's westerns, but there's one another one. Um, thrillers. What is that? Thriller. Thrillers. Okay. Thrillers. Thrillers yeah. and westerns. Okay. In movies, you have horror films, science fiction, thrillers, películas de misterio con acción normalmente, Music, and, pop, and jazz, westerns. Classic. Okay, so also in movies, we have uh, uh, adventure movies, okay, and comedies also, okay, and several other genres. Okay, good. What about the next one? Uh, thank you, Maria Magdalena. Juan Antonio Brand, what do you have in the music category? Uh, classical. Classical. Uh, salsa. Salsa, what else? Um, uh, jazz, jazz, uh, jazz, pop, mm -hmm. pop, very good. Um, uh, any other okay. kind of music you can think of? Uh, rap, rap, okay, rock and good. roll, rock mm -hmm. and roll, yes. Uh, uh, heavy metal, metal, a uh, heavy metal, right? Okay, so we merengue, have como se dice? merengue, merengue, <laughs> merengue, okay, you can say merengue. So uh, we have also reggae here, 
uh, opera, okay, etc., etc. Okay, so there you go. Let's continue. Okay, trying in the chat. Media electronica is correct. Okay. So in this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation expressing likes and dislikes. In esta conversación, los participantes escucharán una conversación. En esta clase, perdón, los participantes escucharán una conversación donde se expresan gustos. So what do we have here? Okay, it's a conversation. I really like pop music. I want you to listen to the conversation and then you're going to help me read it. Let's do it. Do you like rap, Liz? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I guess I don't know much about rap. So, what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. Okay, that's a conversation. Page 23, exercise 3, Sorry. part B. Okay, um, I want you to... Uh, I need two volunteers, I'm sorry. I need two volunteers to read the conversation. Marjorie, please, and uh, who else? Maria Magdalena, okay? Marjorie, you play the part of Tom, and Maria Magdalena, you play the part of Liz. Let's begin. Do you like rap, Liz? No, I don't like very much. Uh, do you? Yeah, I do. Um, I'm a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The does piano? He play, does he play the piano? Mm -hmm. The piano? No, he doesn't. He is a singer. Oh, I guess I don't know much about rap. So, what kind of music do you like? What kind of music? What kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. I really like pop music. I really like pop music. Mm -hmm. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion, I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. Okay, thank you. All right. Uh, before we continue, does anybody have questions about the vocabulary? Does anybody have questions about the vocabulary or the expressions? ¿Alguna consulta duda acerca del vocabulario o las expresiones de la conversación? And guess. I guess. Okay. I Let's guess. see. I <laughs> guess. I guess is like when you say, supongo, right? O me imagino, o creo. I guess I don't know much about rap. Supongo que no sé mucho sobre rap. I guess I don't know much about rap. Luis Alfredo. So what king? Uh, a king? Kind. 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 A kind is a type. When they ask you what kind of music do you like, is what type of music do you like? Que tipo? What kind? Mm -hmm. There you go. Any other questions about the vocabulary or the expressions right here? No questions? Okay, if that's the case, we have to continue. Moving on. So take a look. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to ask questions in simple present using do or does along with WH words. Al final de la clase, los participantes serán capaces de hacer preguntas en presente simple usando do y does junto con pronombres y adverbios interrogativos. Well, okay. Take a look at this. Grammar focus. These are yes, no, and WH questions with do. Okay, that's present simple. So everybody take a look at this. You say, for example, do you like rap? Do you like rap? Say, yes, I do. 
I like it a lot. Or no, I don't like it very much. Does he play the piano? You say, yes, he does. Or no, he doesn't. Do they like the Beatles? You say, yes, they do. They love them. Or no, they don't. Sorry, they don't like them very much. Now, these are yes, no questions. What about the other questions right there? What kind of music do you like? You say, I like rock a lot. What does he play? He plays the guitar. Who do they like? They like you too. Okay. And then we have object pronouns like me, you, him, her, it, us, and them. Okay. So uh, just a second. We continue right here. As you know, this is just some, uh, say, superficial uh, explanation on the grammar that we have to study. But now we have this. This is extra. Esto es adicional. Now, present simple question form. We use do or does in present simple questions. The affirmative form, remember, when the subject is I, you, we, or they, we have to use the verb in base form. You say, for example, I work, you like, we do, they have, okay? When the subject is he, she, or it, the verb changes a little bit and you have he works, he likes, she does, it has, okay? Always remember this. For the subjects, I, you, we, and they, you use the verb in base form. For the subjects, he, she, or it, the verb changes, okay? But what about the question? For the question, you have to use do if the subject is I, you, we, or they, and you use does if the subject is he, she, or it. After that, you have to use a verb in base form. Okay? Después de eso, usted tiene que ocupar siempre un verbo en forma base para hacer la pregunta en present simple. En otras palabras, esto que está acá, este cambio en el verbo donde dice works, likes, does, and has, eso solo sucede en oraciones afirmativas y únicamente cuando el sujeto es he, she, it. ¿Ok? De nuevo, solo sucede cuando el sujeto es he, she, it y solo sucede si son oraciones afirmativas. Si ya es una pregunta, no. El verbo regresa a su forma original. So you say, do you work? Does he work? Do they like? Does she like? Etc. So he says, do you play the guitar? Remember, if the subject is I, we, you, or they, you have to use do. Do they like music? If the subject is he, she, or it, you have to use does. Does he like music? Pero el verbo, pueden ver en ambas oraciones, se mantiene igual. Se mantiene en su forma base. Okay? So that's present simple questions. That's the, the introduction to the structure. Now I want you to study the word order. Okay, this is very important. Very, very important. Now look, you have to use do or does plus the subject plus the verb in base form. So you say, for example, do you play the guitar? <clears throat> do you play the guitar? Do your friends live near here? Does Chris work on Sunday? Does it rain a lot here? Una consulta. Esas cuatro preguntas que acabamos de ver, ¿qué tipo de preguntas son? What kind of question are they? Who knows the answer? You can tell me. ¿Qué tipo de preguntas son esas, las primeras cuatro? Isaac Adbonay. Uh, ¿Preguntas abiertas? Mm, de hecho, lo contrario. Son cerradas. Son cerradas, ajá. ¿Y cómo se les conoce en inglés? WS question. De hecho, lo contrario. Dios mío. 
Oh, I don't know. Okay, no problem. But thank you for participating. Vaya, no son WH questions, son las otras. Okay, ¿cuáles son? Mm -hmm. What do you call this type of question? No idea? Okay. These are yes, no questions. Why are they called yes, no questions? Because you answer them with a yes or a no. Yes or no. You say, do you play the guitar? Yes or no. Do your friends live near here? Yes or no. Does Chris work on Sundays? Yes or no. Does it rain a lot here? Yes or no. So these are yes, no questions. But what about the other ones? You say, where do your parents live? Now look, it's the same structure. It's la misma estructura. You have to use do, then the subject, and then the verb in base form. Where do your parents live? How often do you wash your hair? What does this word mean? ¿Qué significa esta palabra? How much does it cost to fly to Puerto Rico? Now, what kind of questions are these? ¿Qué tipo de preguntas son estas? Ahora sí, Isaac, alguna idea me cuáles son. Estas sí son las W questions. That's correct. Okay, yeah. Sí, de These hecho, are... a eso me refería. Oh, okay. Sí, eso estaba chequeando. Okay, no problem. So, yeah, these are WH questions or open-ended questions, le llaman también. Es decir, las preguntas abiertas. ¿Por qué son abiertas? Porque no se pueden contestar con un sí o con un no. You can't use a yes or a no to answer these questions. Si usted le dicen, where do your parents live? Usted no le va a decir, yes, they do. Porque no tendría sentido. ¿Ok? No le han preguntado eso. When they say, where... Where they want to know a place, okay? Where do your parents live? For example, if you ask me, hey, teacher, where do your parents live? I say, my parents live in Santa Tecla, okay? How often do you wash your hair? Now, when they say how often, they need specific information. And that information is frequency. Frequency. How often? Often do you wash your hair? ¿Con qué frecuencia se lava el cabello? I can say, I wash my hair every day. Esa sería una respuesta lógica, pero si yo digo, yes, I do. No tiene nada que ver la respuesta con la pregunta. Okay, so what does this word mean? ¿Qué significa esta palabra? How much does it, fly, does it cost to fly to Puerto Rico? My answer is, I have no idea. Okay, no sé cuánto vale un vuelo a Puerto Rico. So, That's the thing. So, if you notice, si ustedes se dan cuenta, es la misma estructura. Lo único que cambia es que en una WH question o open-ended question o también llamada information question, aparece al principio una WH word como where, how often, what, how much, which, uh, why, who, how old, what time, etc., etc. All those are WH words. Now look, very important, questions with always and usually, okay? También pueden aparecer preguntas con los adverbs, always or usually. Where do they go? It's very easy. Look, they come before the verb. ¿Dónde va a ocupar usted los adverbs of frequency? La estructura es la misma, solo que lo va a poner antes del verbo. Does Chris always work on Sundays? Chris siempre trabaja los domingos. Does Chris always work on Sundays? What do you usually do on weekends? The first one is a yes, no question. Does Chris always work on Sundays? You say, yes, he does, or no, he doesn't. And what do you do? What do you usually do on weekends? Ah, that's an information question. So you say, ah, on weekends, I go out with my friends. I watch movies. I see, sorry, I watch TV series. I uh, water the plants. I uh, play with my dog, et cetera, et cetera. And finally, you have the question here. What do you do? What do you do means 
what is your job? ¿Cuál es su trabajo o su ocupación? Example, what do you do? You say, I work in the bank. Trabajo en un banco. That's the question. Do you have any questions about this? Do you have any doubts? Anything that is not clear? Una duda consulta, este es un buen momento para hacerla. Any questions? No questions. Okay, then. Short answers. This is very important. When you have a yes, no question, you can use a short answer. And the short answer is, yes, I do. Yes, you do. Yes, we do. Yes, they do. Or, yes, he does. Yes, she does. Yes, he does. If it's negative, you say, no, I don't. No, you don't. No, we don't. No, they don't. No, he doesn't. No, she doesn't. No, it doesn't. And there are some examples right here. Do you play the guitar? You say, no, I don't. Do your parents speak English? Yes, they do. Does Ryan work hard? You say, yes, he does. Does your sister live in Vancouver? You say, no, she doesn't. Okay. Is this clear? Está claro esta parte? Está clara esta parte, perdón. Tienen un ánimo ahorita ustedes. <laughs> okay. So, no questions then. Eh? Okay. Me van a mostrar entonces. Present simple questions. Write questions with do and does. I like chocolate. How about you? Okay. Me gusta el chocolate. ¿Y a ti? ¿O y a usted? The question is, do you like chocolate? What about number two? I play tennis. How about you? What's the question? Follow the example. Juan Antonio Brand, and then Miguel Antonio for the next one. Um, do you play tennis? Do you play tennis? That is correct. Very good. Thank you. Miguel Antonio, you're next. You live near here. How about Emily? Do you live near here? Take a look. Antes era do, do you. Do you. Ahora, ahora estamos hablando de Emily. So, how about Emily? Do she live near here? Remember that when you say she, you cannot use do. You have to use the other auxiliary. What is it? Uh, okay. Sorry. It's okay. Don't worry. Isaac? Doesn't she near here? Again, please. Doesn't she, doesn't she near here? Doesn't she near here? Okay, well, hay dos problemas ahí. El primero, doesn't, doesn't es negativo. Lo cual no es el caso. Sería does únicamente. Y lo otro es que no me dijo el verbo. ¿Cómo sería? Does. Let's see, Luis Alfredo is going to help us. Yes, um, she does live near here. Mm, no, not really. Remember, we have to begin with an auxiliary. Veamos acá, retrocedamos un poco. This is the thing. Cuando el sujeto es I, you, we, or they, vamos a ocupar tú. Luego el sujeto y luego el verbo en forma base. Cuando sea he, she, or it, vamos a ocupar das. Luego el sujeto y luego el verbo en forma base. Ok. So. La primera dice, I like chocolate. How about you? Do you like chocolate? I play tennis. How about you? Do you play tennis? But now look, you live near here. How about Emily? La chica que no está en la conversación. How about Emily? Let's see. Oscar. 
Um, does Emily live near here? Does Emily live near here? That's correct. Does Emily live near here? Very good. Number four, Tom plays tennis. How about his friends? Tom plays tennis. How about his friends? Stephanie. Yeah, does Tom play tennis? Mm -mm. No, because the thing is, Tom plays tennis. Okay, eso ya sabemos, que él juega tenis. How about okay. his friends? ¿Y sus amigos? Eso es lo que tratamos de averiguar. Entonces, no estamos hablando de Tom, sino de los amigos de Tom. Let's see. Uh, do, do they play tennis? Do they play tennis? That is correct. You say, do his friends play tennis? Or, do they play tennis? Okay, that is good. Thank you very much. What about number five? You speak English. How about your brother? How about your brother? Juan Antonio Brand and then Miguel. Okay. Uh, do your brother speak English? Do your brother speak English? Ok, cuando decimos your brother, sería el equivalente de cuál pronombre? Him. It's he, your brother? right? He. Ok. Ok, he. Entonces, ¿cómo comenzamos la pregunta? Does. Mm -hmm. Does your brother speak English? Does your brother speak English? Or does he speak English? Ok, very good. Okay. Thank you. Okay, um, who wants to take a number six? I do yoga every morning. How about you? I do yoga every morning. How about you? Pablo Josué. Maybe, do you do yoga every morning? That is correct. Do you do yoga every morning? Good. Very good. Thank you, Pablo. What about number seven? Sue often travels on business. How about Eric? Aquí tenemos un adverb of frequency. Aquí está, often. Te dije que aparecía el adverb of frequency antes del verbo principal. Bueno. En la pregunta, así va a ser también. So, Sue often travels on business. How about Eric? Ok, Miguel Antonio. Does Eric son of the travel on business? Can you repeat? Does Eric? Does Eric son of the travel mm -mm. on business? No. Uh, fijémonos. Um, Aquí tenemos Sue often travels on business. Es decir, Sue seguido viaja por, por, por el motivo de negocio. Pero luego dice, how about Eric? ¿Y qué hay de Eric? O ¿qué tal Eric? Entonces la pregunta va enfocada en Eric. No en Sue. Sue es otro pista. Digámoslo así. So, Sue often travels in business. Ok, chivo. Ella viaja por motivos de negocio. How about Eric? Ok, ¿Y, ¿y Eric? ¿Cómo nos quedaría entonces? Miguel Antonio. Eric does often travel on business. No. Ok. Word, word order. Word order. Orden de las palabras. Um, uh, does? Uh -huh. no. Does uh, Eric mm -hmm. travel on business? Okay, very good. But one thing is missing. Falta el adverb of frequency. Que habíamos dicho que debe ser utilizado okay. antes del, ajá, often, antes okay. del verbo principal. Entonces, ¿cómo nos queda ahora? Veamos. 
Does Eric often travel on business? Correct. Okay. Does Eric or does he often travel on business? That's good. Very good. Okay, what about number eight, Nelson Eduardo? I want to be famous. How about you? Do you want to be famous? Do you want to be famous? Yeah, that's correct. Do you want to be famous? And the last one, number nine, I work hard. How about Anna, Idalia? Do you, do you work hard? Pero de quién estamos hablando ahí? Ah, de Anna. Ajá, entonces. Das? Uh -huh. Das, do you work hard? No, 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 muchas palabras. Ay. Eh. Demasi demasiadas palabras ahí. Sí. Das. Das, do you work? Uh -uh, cuidado, no, no podemos ah. decir das, do. Están poniendo los dos. Eh, digamos auxiliares juntos no no se puede así que cuidado cuidado ahí vamos a ver qué nos dice María Magdalena does Anna work hard does Anna work hard or does she work hard that is correct does Anna work hard does she work hard okay then so for the next one, okay, write questions with do or does. This is probably going to be the last exercise. So write questions with do or does. How? Where live your parents? You say, where do your parents live? Es decir, hay que ponerlo en orden y además hay que agregar do or does donde sea necesario. Now, some of these are yes, no questions. Some others are information questions. Algunas son preguntas de sí o no, y las otras son de preguntas abiertas, digamos así. Juan Antonio Brand, do you have a question? Or do you want to try number two? I want to try. Okay, number two. You early, always, get up. What is the question? Okay. Do you get up early always? No. Mm -hmm. Do you get up always early? No. Mm -hmm. Do you get up early always? Mm -hmm. No, really. Mm -hmm. Always okay. is a, always is an adverb frequency. The adverb frequency comes before the main verb. Okay. No, sorry. Paso. Okay, no problem. Maria Magdalena. Um, do you always get up early? Do you always get up early? Correct. El adverb frequency va antes del verbo principal. So, do you always get up early? Correct. Thank you. Nelson Eduardo, what about number three? How often TV you watch? What is it? How often do you watch TV? How often do you watch TV? Now, a uh, WH question, an information question. Very good. Um, for the next one, number four. Who can answer this? Number four. Idalia Margarita. Do you do you like football? Do you like football? Correct. Okay. Well, nos saltamos una, de hecho. Nos saltamos una. Pero sí, do you like football? Está bien. Ah. What about number four? You want what for dinner? What is that? Maria Magdalena. Uh, let me see. Okay. What do you want for dinner? What do you want for dinner? Very good. What do you want for dinner? Number five. Okay. Uh, number five was uh, Idalia told us, do you like football? Which is correct. Okay. So thank you, Maria Magdalena. And thank you, Idalia. Marina Amaya, what about number six? Marina? Hola. Uh, what about number six? Um, 
do your brother do you like brother football mm -mm. oh sorry okay for like... starters uh the auxiliary cuando decimos your brother es el equivalente de quien Uh, his. He. Oh, okay. He. 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 Correct. So, he. what is what? How do, do you, you start he, that? Mm -hmm. Do you he like football? No, you cannot say. Do you he like? Does does pardon does okay does does, does he like football? Does he like football? Or does your brother right? You have to use your brother. Does your brother like football? Okay. Thank you. Luis Alfredo, luego Marjorie, luego Nelson. Okay. Mantenga la mano levantada mientras su participación no haya concluido. Luis Alfredo, number seven. Number seven, uh, number seven is what do you do in your free time? What do you do in your free time? That's correct. Thank you. Marjorie Marilyn, number eight. Does your sister work here? Does your sister work here? That's right. Very good. Number nine. Okay. Nelson Eduardo. Breakfast always you have. Do you always have breakfast? Do you always have breakfast? Very good. Mm -hmm. What about number 11? What mean this word? This is probably the most difficult one. Hasta la mano me bajaron, ya vi. Uh -huh. uh, Idalia Margarita. What do you mean this word? What do you mean this word? Mm, sin ocupar uh, you. No está incluido entre las palabras que ocupar. Okay. What? What? What do mean this word? Mm, what do mean this word? No, sorry, it's a bit different. Sorry. It's okay. All right. Okay. So, who knows the answer to this? Pablo Josué. What does it mean this word? What does it mean this word? No, not really. The subject is this word. word. El sujeto es this word. Así que cómo nos queda? Y el verbo es mean. So, what do we have? Maria Magdalena and then Nelson Eduardo. What do mean this word? What do you mean this word? No, sorry, it's a bit different. Nelson Eduardo. What does this word mean? What does this word mean? ¿Qué significa esta palabra? Sería lo mismo que decir, what does it mean? What does this word mean? Okay, cool. Number 11. In the winter, snow it here. What do you have? Juan Antonio Brand. Okay. Um, does does snow it here in the winter? Can you repeat it, please? Does snow it here in the winter? Okay. So you use does, and after that, you need to use the subject. So what will be the subject? Does the subject, it does something. The subject is, uh, is it. Mm -hmm. So you say, uh, what, what is the complete? Uh -huh. Okay. Does, does, no. Does, is the snow. Mm -hmm. Here. Mm -hmm. Does it snow here in the winter? A second. Okay. Does it snow here in the winter? No, here. Yeah. Does oh, it yeah? snow here in the winter? Yeah. Totally. Okay. Number okay. twelve. Luis Alfredo. No, con la anterior. Eh, does it snow in the winter here? Mm -hmm. No sería de esa manera. Does it snow here? Yeah. Also, it's possible. Both are possible. Si se pueden ambas. In the winter here or here in the winter. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, uh, the, the 12. I'm sorry? Uh, the number 12. Number 12. Okay. 
but we have to give the opportunity to more people, okay? <laughs> Vamos. Okay. Thank you, thank you, Bob. We're going to go with Marjorie. Marjorie, your turn. You were raising your hand. Okay. Uh, uh, what, what time do you usually go to bed? What time do you usually go to bed? That's correct. Usually is the adverb of frequency that comes before the main verb. Go. What time do you usually go to bed? Thank you. And number 13. Okay. What is that? Number 13. What do we have right there? Nelson Eduardo, do you have it? Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay. How much is cost to go to Mexico? Can you repeat it, please? How much does it cost to travel to Mexico? How much does it cost to travel to Mexico? Okay, very good. And the last one, okay, uh, Maria Magdalena, about the last one. That's yours. Uh, what do what do you do usually have for breakfast? What do you usually have for breakfast? What do you usually have for breakfast? Yeah, that is correct. Okay, very good. So what do you usually have for breakfast? Okay, listen, we're going to stop a little bit right here and I need to call some people from the list. Ada Veronica Muñoz de Fuentes, are you here? Ada Veronica Muñoz de Fuentes, no. Okay, Alexis Giovanni Ramos Rosales, are you here? No, okay. Alicia Perez Gavidia. Alicia Perez Gavidia. Jennifer Nuset Arevalo Flores. Jennifer Nuset Arevalo Flores. Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. Pablo Josué Cornejo Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay. All right. So we're going to stop here. Okay. And we'll continue the topic tomorrow. We have a few more exercises. Okay, everybody. Thank you very much. And uh, I will see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, chair. See you tomorrow, everyone. Okay, bye bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. A mí también me pasó eso mismo. Me dormí, lo único que hasta el día siguiente que...